감사합니다. Thank you. 네, 아직도 그 범인을 못 잡고 있죠. Even now regarding a particular crime, they have not yet found the criminal. 다섯 명의 아이들이 개구리 잡으러 간다고 갔는데 다 죽었어요. And so in Daegu, there were five young children who went out into the hills to try to catch frogs, but all of them died. 얼마 전까지만 또 뉴스에 뭐또 이렇게 뭐 원인 분석한다고 이렇게 하는 걸 봤습니다. And a while back, they were having a show on TV about trying to find the root cause of this incident. 그 부모님들 마음은 어떻겠습니까? So can you imagine the heart of the parents of these children? 누가 죽였을까요? Who could be behind this homicide? 분명한 것은 어린 아이를 어 그렇게 처참하게 죽여야 될 만큼 이유도 없을 건데 그런 분노가 가득 찬 사람이 그랬을 겁니다. In any event, the, the, the crime was probably committed by a perpetrator who was filled with so much rage that he had to go out and kill these children for no reason at all. Why is it that almost every month in the U.S. we continue to see these mass shootings arising in the schools? This didn't just happen from the very offset. We see that these Things are committed by people who are filled with so much rage. And with the passage of time, they then begin to experience mental disorders. This is something that nobody can begin to address, but these things are happening all throughout the world. Today, the Bible reveals to us the answer. It tells us the answer in verses 19 and 20. These things are happening because people are inside of the darkness. 여러분, 우리 육신적으로도 어두움은 얼마나 힘듭니까? 어두운 가운데 내 영이 갇혀 있기 때문에 어쩔 수가 없는 거예요. Even physically speaking, if we're cons- if we're covered with darkness, things would not be so easy for, for us to make our w- way around. But our souls are consumed with darkness. 오늘 여러분이 꼭 진짜 답 얻으셔야 됩니다. 여러분이 자신이 할 겁니까? 나는 하나님의 은혜 감사하다. Today, you must arrive at this answer. You yourself will know whether you are most grateful for the grace of God or not. You yourselves know best whether you are really praying and receiving God's answers to those prayers. You need to find this. People for whom prayer does not take place very well, they have to continue to speak words. And they have to speak words about others and even hear things about others as well. And in the midst of that, all the cells inside of our bodies begin to shift and change that way. We see that in consideration of today's passage, from that time on, in just a few moments, in just a few years, Israel will face destruction. That actually happened in history. We see that a time comes to them when their entire posterity faces destruction. And Jesus says, this is the case because you are consumed with darkness. At this time, we see that Nicodemus comes to Jesus. Before this time, Jesus met with a lot of people who were in the midst of great difficulty, but this amazing man comes to meet with Jesus in today's passage. And we don't know if it was because he wanted to avoid other people's eyes or because he wanted to have a very earnest conversation with Jesus, but he comes to seek him at night. There's a need for us to look a little bit into this man, Nicodemus. We should look into this matter because he's very similar to the way that the world is right now. First, he's a very affluent man. 요한복음 19장 39절을 보면 예수님 돌아가셨을 때에 그 완전히 침향 한 이런 기름 바르는 거 있잖아요. 그걸 백근을 가지고 직접 온 사람입니다. 
we see in John chapter 19, verse 39, the reason why we know that he's a very rich and wealthy man is because he comes uh, to Jesus by night. He, he brings a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds in weight. And it says in today's passage that he was a man of the Pharisees. He wasn't just a simple Pharisee. There, there were 6,000 Pharisees all throughout the nation. And before three witnesses, they must stand and take an oath saying that they will completely and perfectly uh, keep to the law. 모든 율법을 단한 개도 어기지 않고 철저히 지키겠습니다라고 써야 하고 바리새인 되는 겁니다. They make an oath saying that they will faithfully adhere and implement all the things that are listed inside of the law, and with that they become a Pharisee. 또 어, 유대인이 지도자라 그랬죠. And it also reads here that he was a ruler of the Jews. 쉽게 말하면 사내들인 공회원입니다. In other words, he was a member of the Sanhedrin. So he's a very renowned and distinguished figure. In today's terminology for Korea, he would be higher than a National Assembly person. And there are only 70 members of the Sanhedrin. They're the people who have the ability to magistrate and to, orchestra, to execute the law with that authority. And so how amazing is that? So from perhaps our perspective, he should be a man who should be revered. So in modern times, if this kind of man appeared, all the journalists would swarm to him and try to get his interview. It's that kind of figure that we see today. In other words, for Christians who are not living their walk of faith properly, he would be a role model. But this man was not at peace. He possessed everything, but unbeknownst to anyone else, he was not at peace. So he comes in search of Jesus. He says to Jesus and says, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. What an amazing compliment is that. He says these signs cannot accompany you unless God is with you. But at this time, Jesus gives a completely different answer. He doesn't give a direct response to what he has said. For example, he doesn't say, thank you, or is that what you think, or is that so? Instead, Jesus replies this way. 진실로 진실로 네게 일론이 사람이 거듭나지 아니하면 하나님 나라 볼수 없느니라. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. 아니 어떻게 거듭날 수 있습니까? How can this be? What is he speaking about? 내가 어머니 배 속에 이렇게 늙은 내가 다시 들어갔다 나옵니까? So Nicodemus says, but I'm so old. Then does that mean that somebody must enter into a second time into his mother's womb and be born again? What does that mean? So he is a uh, leader, and yet he asks such a foolish question. And this is what Jesus responds. He says, are you the teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? How can you go a second time into your mother's womb to be born again? And even if you were to enter into the womb a second time to be born again, could you enter into the kingdom of God that way? He says, if I speak of all the things of the world, will you understand? Then how much more so if I speak about the heavenly things? He says, the wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound. And he also says, this is how, what it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. And 
And Jesus also says, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. What does that mean? You remember in the wilderness, people were bitten by the snake. When with that poison was spreading throughout the body, we see that Moses lifted up this bronze serpent and people who looked to that were saved. He's saying just like that, the Son of Man must be lifted up. But he could not understand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And those who do not believe will be condemned. And what is that condemnation? It is remaining within the darkness. You don't even know when you'll face destruction but you're in the midst of that darkness. This is a frightening message that is proclaimed. Nicodemus, who knows so much, is, is so renowned and possesses all these things, could he not understand the words that Jesus says, saying that he had to be born again? This is the key that you and I must come to terms with today. It's not that he didn't understand. The objective, the purpose for which Nicodemus came to Jesus was not to hear these words. We live our walk of faith the same way, do we not? We're not trying to listen to the genuine things of Jesus. It's not that he didn't understand these words. This was not the question he was asking. He didn't even want to listen to that answer. That's where the problem lies. You must catch on to this quickly. Jesus performed amazing signs and he wondered to himself, how can I do the same? But it goes beyond that. Why does it not work for me? And even beyond that, why am I facing my own limitations? How can I be free from these constraints? This is a question he was asking. But Jesus responds in a completely different manner. If you look carefully at the word of God and you hold on to it, then even with just one word of prayer, you can receive all your answers. The answer is clear. Why was it that in the Middle Ages there was so much war and strife, destruction, and so many problems raging inside of the church? It was because they were not concerned with the genuine answers. We don't even know what the genuine answers are. Why are churches in the developed world closing down, and why is it that it is filled with mental disorder patients? Today, even today, there are so many churches closing their doors. And there are also many churches that will follow suit going forward. So we are facing a very serious situation. Those who are cognizant of this have a reason to live in America. Those who do not know this, you're facing a very uh, big problem. But people have an interest elsewhere. Today, we're commemorating RTS Lord's Day. Simply put, this is a day for us, for all the churches of, of the world and the nation to come together to pray for the school that will raise up the future evangelists and pastors. If servants of the Lord are interested in other things, then they will die. Isn't that so? And that is why in today's passage, Jesus speaks to us about the way for us to block this darkness. First, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This is an amazing message given in verse 3. 
베드로전서 1장 3절에 보면 뭐라고 되어 있는 거니까요. 어, 또 29절까지 보면 우리가 썩어진 씨에서 나온 것이 아니고 생명의 씨를 얻을 거듭나게 하셨다고 말씀하셨어요. It says in 1 Peter 1:3 that it is not the the rotten seed that we have received, but a seed that has been redeemed, a seed of life. 갈라데 2장 20절은 내가 그리스도와 함께 죽고 그리스도와 함께 사는 것이다. It says in Galatians 2:20 that I have been crucified with Christ and I now live with Christ. 엄청난 것이요. How amazing is that? 고린도 5장 17절에 보니까 새로운 피조물이 됐다. It says in 1 Corinthians 5:17 that we are now a new creation. 갈라데 6장 15절에 보니까 새로운 게 창조됐다. And it says in Galatians 1:15 that we have been newly created. 여러분 이 축복부터 받아야 돼요. You must first receive this blessing. 구원이라고 말이 같은 말인데 구원이라고 왜? 거듭남이라고 말하셨어요. This word salvation and being reborn, it's the same thing. Why does he say to be reborn? 여러분 하나님의 자녀로 위에서부터 태어나는 그 능력으로 거듭나야 돼요. You must be reborn, redeemed from the power from above as a child of God. RTS 꼭 기억해야 됩니다. RTS, you must remember. 나 전에 얘기했잖아요. I said this before as well. 필리핀에서 두 사건 생겼어요. There are two incidents that arose in the Philippines. 선교사님이 a missionary was carrying out his work very diligently. He did so much work and to the point where he was able to construct a new building, perhaps you would be awed by his accomplishments. And from what I know, he was a pastor of a different denomination. But one day, there was a Filipino uh, believer underneath this pastor who brought a person uh, underneath this pastor brought together Filipino uh, vandals and gangsters, and they threatened the pastor, saying, "You want to give over all your belongings, or you want to go to jail?" From what I know, I think he gave over all his possessions. And there was another incident that arose in the Philippines as well. Uh, this pastor was doing his mission's work, and so he was also uh, preparing for his retirement. So he raised up his successor. And at his retirement ceremony, the successor had to come up and greet the congregation. He said something that flabbergasted the entire congregation as soon as he came up. 나는 우리 선임 이 선교사님을 너무 너무 존경하고나 이렇게 훌륭한 사람 본적 처음이다 이렇게 얘기했어. Of what, what he actually said astounded the congregation, and what he was saying was, I'm so uh, in awe of this pastor. I have great respect for him. 이유를 설명했어. And he explained the reason for it. 어디서 가져왔는지 이 많은 돈을 가져와서 어마어마하게 찐이 건물들 보니까 나는 목사님을 너무 존경한다. I have the utmost respect for him because I don't know where he got all this money, but he brought so much money to construct all these facilities and buildings. 그때 이 선임 목사님이 and that's when this pastor realized uh, I completely failed. Pastor, pastors, you must remember and you must truly pray. You must realize that all the blessings of the heavenly throne and the power of the triune God has come upon you. You must hold fast to that. So do not worry, begin. This morning I woke up at 5 a.m. and I have to leave the home at 7 a.m. So from 5 to 7, I continue to engage in deep prayer and it was wonderful. God, give to me the word that you desire for today, and Lord, may you work directly upon your people and give them strength. So consider this. So for example, we go into a corner, a remote corner to pray deeply, or we turn off all the electronics and TV. There's no need for that. As we engage in our daily lives, we continue to enter into prayer. 여러분 가운데 이렇게 막 나는 막 자기 우울하고 막 머리 밖에 이런 분 있을 겁니다. And perhaps among you, you might get easily depressed. 이런 분들은 
아침에 눈 뜨면 천천히 기도하세요. 그냥 하지 말고 호흡하면서 천천히 기도하세요. If that's the case, when you wake up in the morning, really pray very slowly as you take in those deep breaths. 왜냐하면은 어, 그 우울증 날씬하시면 뇌에 조금 산소 부족합니다. And perhaps the reason for the depression that you feel, your emotional instability, is also because you lack oxygen in your brain. 그대로 가면 절대 안 됩니다. You cannot leave that alone. 구원도 구원이지만 내, 내가 다 무너져 버려. Salvation is a different matter. You yourselves will find yourself in a state of disrepair. 말 많이 하는 사람 있지 않습니까? There are a lot of people who are very gossipy. They always have to speak all the time. Be wary of those people. 말은 입은 무겁고 마음은 가벼워야 돼요. Our mouth should be heavy. So in other words, we should not speak so lightly and our hearts must be light. 입은 가볍고 마음이 무겁다. 죽는 겁니다. But if your mouth is very light and your heart is heavy, then that it will only draw forward your death. 근데 마음은 무거워. So you're always speaking very lightly and yet your heart is always heavy. 가볍고 편한데 입은 무거워. Then conversely, your heart is always light, but your mouth is very heavy. That is a person of prayer. So try it in the mornings. And works will arise. But we keep losing hold of all these blessings. And Nicodemus was not interested in this in the least. So he just returned on his way. And then in 30 years' time, Israel faced its destruction. 훌륭한 그분의 아들과 손자 손녀는 전 세계로 유랑민으로 갔습니다. And his sons and his grandsons, the the posterity of this renowned individual, now had to be sent out wandering throughout the nations. 그러니까 재앙이 뭔가도 모르 벗어나지를 못해. 여러분 얼마나 죽어받다는 걸 알아야 돼요. And that had to be why because they don't they didn't know how to come out from this this problem. 이 흑암에서 완전 벗어나 이 사단의 흑암에서 완전 벗어나는 거기 때문에 엄청난 거죠. You must come out completely from this darkness of Satan. It's an amazing thing. 그냥 하세요. 아침에 눈탁 뜨면요. 이 기도부터 하세요. So just do this. Wake up in the morning and pray this prayer first. 구원받은 하나님의 사람이요. You are the saved people of God who have been reborn. So how amazing is that? 성삼위 하나님이 여러분과 함께 계시고 보좌의 능력이 임하고 시대 바꾸는 미션이 임하는 시간이란 말이에요. 그게 뭐라는 거예요? The triune God is with you. The heavenly blessings are upon you, and you have all authority and power to change this age. And the older you become, you must do this. 40대 그냥 천천히 좀 등산하시면서도 아니면 방에서도 천천히 호흡하시면서 천천히 기도하세요. So very slowly, pray and slowly take in those deep breaths as you. 삼구삼의 축복이 들었을 때는 이마기를 기도하고 내쉴 때는 전달되기를 기도합니다. As you uh, as you take a walk or when you're in your room, so the blessing of three nine three for me. All I do is I when I take in my deep breaths for for this blessing to come upon me. And when I exhale, I prayed for all these blessings to be conveyed and relayed. It's not a religious thing. It's a scientific medical. A medical principle. I've been doing this for forty years, so you must do that inside of prayer as well. 여러분 거의 병 없어요. 나이 든 분들 안 하면 큰일 나요. 여러분 계속 폐가 줄어지고 있고요. 여러분 행진막 스톱돼 있고 장은 움직이지 않고 완전히 이집 넣고를 다 줄어들고 있어요. 계속 하셔야 돼요. And so you must take this time because that's the only way for you to maintain your good health. Because as you grow older, your lungs are not being able to work to its own capacity. Your your liver, your all your organs are not functioning. 하나님이 진짜 주신 거에 대해서 이 유대인이 관심이 없었던 겁니다. But we see that God has given to us all the genuine blessings, and yet the Jewish people were not interested in it at all. It's very clear. All they wanted to do was achieve success, and they can achieve success, and yet in the midst of that, they lose all of what is most important. Then it is all, all in vain. We see that this lesson that we learned from Nicodemus is so very important. The Pharisees had so many things, and yet they did not realize this mystery. For 2,000 years, their posterity faced destruction. Why? Because God gave them the gospel, but they grew so arrogant that they did not relay this gospel. 
복음 증거되고 바로 하는 나라가 별로 없습니다. 우리 한국밖에 없습니다. 정신 차려야 돼요. Today there are not many churches or many countries that are really proclaiming this gospel save for Korea. So you must really come to your senses quickly. 두 번째입니다. The second point. 예수님 뭘 말씀하셨어요? What did Jesus speak about? 눈에 안 보이지만 바람이 눈에 안 보이지 않냐? 그러나 바람이 불지 않냐? 예수님 질문한 거예요. And Jesus says, the wind blows where it wishes, and you hear it sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. And then what does he explain? So it is so with the working of the Holy Spirit. This is a blessing you ought to receive. The Holy Spirit is unseen to our eyes, but he is working by the Holy Spirit, and he is carrying out the works of recreation, but we do not believe it. 조금. 배웠다고 생각되는 사람들은 안 믿어요. 그러니까 문제 오는 거예요. 영적 문제. The, the people who are learned even a little bit, they don't believe it, and that's why problems ensue. 조금 성공했다고 생각되는 사람, 돈좀 버는 사람 이런 사람들은 왜 가치 없이 봐요. 그래서 영적 문제 오는 거예요. Those who think that they have obtained a little bit of success or, or have come into a little bit of money, they don't think this is necessary, and that's why they face spiritual problems. 니고데모가 돈 있지. 지위지 명예 다 있습니다. 다 있는데 자기 편치 안에 뭔가를 해결하고 하는데 이 사람 생각은 또안 되지. Nicodemus had money, he had a position, he had great fame and, and in prestige, and yet some, he was still not at peace. And he still comes. 예수님이 바로 찔린 겁니다. And we see that Jesus pokes at the heart of the matter. He says, "You must be reborn." 넌 구원 못 받았어. You are not saved. 넌 사단의 종이야. You are a slave to Satan. That's what he's saying. 너는 허감에 잡혀 있어. You are captured by darkness. 뭔 표적을 구하느냐? What signs are you in search of? 돈 구하면 뭘 건데? With all that money, what will you do? 사내들인 공연 70명 회원이면 다냐? 넌 죽어. Is it all to just be a member of the 70 member of Sanhedrin? You will still waste away inside of that. In a little bit of time, your posterity will die. 정신 차려. So you must come to your senses. That's what Jesus is explaining. 알아듣지 마. But he could not understand. That's the second point. The working of the Holy Spirit. Every time they face destruction, even in Egypt, we see that Pharaoh looks at Joseph and says, I have never seen anyone so filled with the Spirit of God. Then how about for you? You must firmly hold on to this. This strength must be now conveyed to our posterity. This strength to our remnants. In the future, when we have the three-day weekend uh, age arise, we need to gather together remnants and have them have a break and really enjoy this. 엄마 강남에 아줌마들 보면 뭐 그러면 아이들 뭐 공부가 다다. 그래서 여러분의 자녀들이 도는 겁니다. 그래서 문제가 오고 마약에 빠지고 그래요. Many of the mothers in Gangnam they're so consumed with giving a good education to their children. That's why their children fall into drug abuse and so many problems come to them. 예수님 말씀을 이 똑똑한 사람이 도저히 그 무슨 말씀입니까? This intelligent man Nicodemus simply could not understand the words of Jesus. 스가라 사장 6절에 힘으로 능으로 할수 없으나 Zechariah 4, 6 records, not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. And Jesus says, but when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power. That's the power we need. That's why we come to this worship. If we're in search of an earthly power or, or strength, we could go out into the world. We come here to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe in this fact. In the future, through you, world evangelization will take place. But there is something you must keep in mind. All day long, we listen to just things of the world and just see the things of the world. And with what miss that? We lose hold of the spiritual mysteries. 그렇죠. Things, are, things are hard at work. Things are hard in the world. There are so many people who are trying to take advantage of us. People do anything to achieve their aims. And that's why they will even lie 그렇죠. to you. Change everything into prayer. And surely the works will arise. This third thing, third, third point that Jesus made. What does it say in verse 20? It says, because you are in the midst of darkness, that's why the light is needed. The light is needed, and yet nobody comes out into the light. 
여러분 어둠 속에 있는 사람에게 빛이 얼마나 필요합니까? 그 빛을 빛이 이 빛은 그냥 빛이 아닙니다. 창조의 빛. How necessary is that light for the people who are in the midst of darkness? It's not just a simple light, it's a light of recreation. It's not just this kind of light that we need, it's a light of creation that we require. When you walk down a dark path, you need a lamp. In the same way, more than that, what we need is a light of creation. We can receive this at this very hour through the through prayer. And we can convey this in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are sick, lay your hands on where you're sick and, and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by your spirit, heal me. By your light of creation, heal me. Continue to pray that prayer and see what happens. Do not lose hold of this. I'm not telling you not to do other things. I'm telling you not to lose hold of what is most important. So, I'm not telling you not to watch TV. You can watch TV and with that still be inside of prayer. There's no problem. I'll come to the conclusion. All members of RTS, where is our final missions work location? There are three places. First, it is Israel. Why did Israel lose its, its state for 2,000 years? Still, they do not know even today. It was because they, they did not convey this light, even though God gave them this light. They didn't relay it. So for 2,000 years, they were spread out to the diaspora. Only then could they proclaim this. Right now, we see that the Jewish people, many of these Jewish leaders, are at the, 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 the leadership of the three organizations that are spreading the darkness in the U.S. and Europe. What will happen in the future then? There are some scholars who say that uh, the, the Jewish nation might may become the, the source of the next third world war. And what is the second final missions field? It is the Christians. Christians do not have the gospel. They're concerned with other things instead. What is the third last missions field? It's the pastors. You must enjoy the gospel correctly. You lose hold of this as you enjoy the things of the world, but you must enjoy the gospel correctly. Today, you can receive your answer even in a very short period of time. So truly begin this prayer. Do you know why? 제가 기도 응답을 받는 중에 기도하면서 응답 받고 뭐 한이 받는 중에 최고로 받는 은행 관이간요 설교 준비할 때요. For example, for me, I've continued to be in prayer and I receive my answers, but when I receive the most answers is when I prepare for the sermon. 거의 다른 사람들은 몰라요. 거의 딴데 저는 관심 없어요. 거의 설교 준비가 저는 많거든요. 특히 주일 설교 준비해요. 굉장히 많은 시간. Others don't know, but for me, I'm interested in nothing else. I have a lot of sermons I need to prepare for, especially for the Lord's Day sermon. I can barely sleep. And I'm not even sleepy or tired. I just continue to listen to the, hold on to the message and pray. So there are times in the daytime when I get a little bit sleepy. But even that is a form of sleep, so it's okay. So why do I say this? When I'm preparing for the sermon, that's when I receive the greatest grace before God. And all that has been fulfilled, all those important words. In the same way, in your time of worship, you can receive the greatest answers. And today on this Lord's Day, I bless your name, Lord, that you will all receive true grace and new grace today. God, we thank you.
참복음 회복하게 해 주옵소서. Help us restore the true gospel. 참된 능력을 회복하게 하옵소서. Help us restore true power. 참된 빛을 전하게 해 주옵소서. So that we can relay the true light. 우리 후대와 대한민국과 세계 후대가 살아나게 하옵소서. May the posterity of our nation and all the countries of the world be revived. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.